There's two types of people in the world. There's a type of person who would rather everybody know that they're traveling first class. And there's a type of person who doesn't care or doesn't want other people to know they're traveling first class. I tend to like and gravitate towards the, the latter. I like the people who don't feel the need to show off. So when I see influencers flexing, it makes me feel physically sick. My eating is currently broken in my house. So I'm heading down to London. I'm checking into the Savoy and I'm gonna make full use of their wonderful hot water. Why are you such a cow? So how did I go from being this crazy YouTuber without many brain cells to co-founding a $20 million fund? In 2010, before many of you were born, I started making YouTube videos in- Why are you such a massive <clears throat> God, I hate social influencers. I'm sorry, I had to say it. I can't stand us. We are, the, we are literally the worst. Do you know why? It's because uh, so much of it is a facade. So much of it is a, uh, is a pretense. It's like a mask that we're all holding up. Like some, we're projecting a, an interpretation of ourselves, which is like sanitized and easy to be commodified. And it's just not really us. And occasionally the mask slips and you see the real person behind the mask. Something that I saw floating around on Twitter yesterday was the amount of people that were calling me a Tory. And I just want to 100% clear up right now that I'm not a Tory. <laughs> Right now, I think creating content where you're flexing isn't really the time to be doing it when people are really struggling financially. But however, that said, this week, we are gonna make a video where we just show off a load of stuff. And there's a couple of reasons for that. Amazon kindly gave us some credits recently for going to one of their events. So we got some like budget to spend on Amazon. It's Christmas coming up. People might want some ideas for Christmas. And the final reason is it's because I just want to talk about this stuff and I'll explain why. I'm sorry to constantly bang on about my dead dad, but there's a part of our relationship that I really miss. And it's the part where if ever I would get something like a new pair of shoes or a new um, lens, I'd call him about it all excited and be like, dad, I got this new thing. And then he would then get excited because he'd hear how excited I was about this thing. And I really miss that. And I feel like there's a bit of a vacuum in my life where I don't have that person anymore to call up and be like, I got this new thing. So I'm thinking you could be my surrogate dad this week. Hannah's going to help me as well. She's going to jump in and show you some of the stuff that she's got. I think it's just going to be like one of those old, old school kind of haul videos. But again, I hope it doesn't come across in any way flexy. I hope it doesn't come across in any way like we're trying to sh show off anything. We're, I, I, honestly, we're not. We're just trying to show you some stuff that we're really into and we really love. All the links for everything we mentioned are down below. Anyway. Yeah, let's uh, see how this works. We went round to our friend's house recently and they had loads of these all over their house and it just made it really cozy. And we first went in there, I didn't realize that they were all electric and they were all fake. I thought they were all real, so they're so, they're so good. I'll show you one. I actually have one in my office right here. It's very well loved. I think it's got like fingerprints all over it, but that's it on. And it kind of, the little like pretend flame flickers a little bit, so they just look really real and they kind of like, if you're not focusing on them, if they're just kind of around the room while you're doing other things, you just don't notice that they're not real. Also, the thing I love about these is that you can put them on a timer so you don't have to worry about going around and switching them off. You can just put them on for two hours or four hours and they're rechargeable as well. So all you have to do is plug them in and yeah, I am obsessed with them. I bring these to all my yoga classes as well. One of the annoying things that happens to you when you get older is your hair starts to feel a little bit like more dry. It just loses that vitality. So uh, when I'm touching the kid's hair or Hannah's hair, it just feels really nice. I'm like, why does my hair feel like that? It's because I'm old and so all this nice good stuff is just basically dead. So um, I was in the hairdressers the other day and he, he obviously picked up on it. He was like, your hair could do with a bit of a, treat, a treating. I'm gonna put some Moroccan hair oil in it. And I was like, oh God what's this? And he put this Moroccan hair oil in it and he worked it in and he kept on banging on about how great it was. But I was thinking when he was going on about how great it was, he's just trying to sell me this stuff. He's obviously just bought some shit, marked it up by like, by like 10,000% and then he's going to try and sell it to me. But he banged on about it. I sort of switched off as he was going on about how great it was and what it was doing for my hair. And then later on that day, when I got home, I was like, oh God, my hair just feels really good. It just feels like, I don't remember it feeling this good before. So I bought some of this stuff on Amazon and it's this stuff, Moroccan hair oil. I've been using it every day for probably about three weeks now. And my hair feels incredible. It feel, it's never felt this good. And Hannah will actually play with it now. Normally she doesn't touch it. She's like, oh, it's got, it's got crap in it. Even though she strokes the dogs who are like dogs, she like, will be like stroking them for hours. I'm like, you'd stroke the dogs and they've got, they've got all sorts of crap in them. My hair's just got a little bit of wax in it. You won't touch it. Anyway, let's not go into that. Leave that one for the marriage counselor. Um, yeah, and it just feels really good. It feels really like soft. It feels like it used to feel when I was like, in my twenties again, which is great. So yeah, Moroccan hair oil. Highly recommend this to anyone who has hair. Next up, I have some CBD oil. 
This is by a company called Trip. I think this was about 20 pounds and I really like to use this when I'm PMTing. If it's coming up to that time of the month, my anxiety sort of always flares up for a couple of days around that time. So this is one of my little like tools that I have around that time just to help chill me out. I just take a droplet under the tongue and yeah, it just kind of helps take the edge off anxiety a little bit. This is the wild mint and chamomile one. This is probably my favorite. Again, I just think it's a really nice little gift to give to someone if you know they suffer from, I don't know, like um, anxiety or if they just are into like more holistic medicine type stuff. <laughs> okay, these are, I'm sorry, but they're the coolest thing I've ever owned. Loki shoes and I just adore them. I've wanted these for years, um, and I finally got a pair. I've got the, the shoe versions, but they're really old now. They're like, God, about seven or eight years old. But take care of the leather, and they'll last you for years and years and years, because they're just such good quality boots. I just think they look so awesome. I, whenever I put those on, I just feel like I'm, I'm, I'm just feel like I'm, I don't know, feel like I'm, I should be in Milan. I, should, I don't know what I'm doing, in, walking around Bath. Why am, I, why, am I not, why am I not being scouted? These are the New Balance, I think they're called the Fresh Foam Running Shoes. I'm very excited about these. I actually just went on a really long walk and didn't wear them on purpose because I knew that I wanted to show them. They're so cute. I mean, they're like the least ugly running shoes that I've found. So hopefully they're comfy. I feel like these could also take you from like gym slash run to coffee shop and you wouldn't look too like you've just come out of the gym or just finished a run as well. So. I'm excited to wear these. It kind of gives me a bit of motivation to get back in the gym too because I haven't been for so long, which is not very like me, but I don't know. I just get out of the habit of it and then keep finding excuses not to go. <laughs> the next thing is my chav chain. Check out my chav chain. Hannah's undecided. To be honest with you, I'm fairly undecided, but it's grown on me a little bit more every day. It only cost about five or six quid. So if I if I don't wanna wear it anymore, it's not a big deal. It's not like I spent loads of money on it and then realized a month later I hate wearing neck chains. So yeah, if I, if I go off it, then I can just take it off and say like losing like five or six quid. A Husky reusable coffee cup. I already have the small version of this, but the cream one. Um, but sometimes it's not enough, so I just thought I'd pick up one of these. It's also just quite aesthetically pleasing and you can just use it as a normal cup around the house. I think that was about 12 pounds or something. I just think that would be a really nice little like gift or a stocking filler. I got an air fryer, I'm that middle-aged. It was about time, I had to do it. Everyone's banging on about them. I feel like I'm missing out. People tell me that they're like, it's like eating restaurant food, at, but you can cook it at home. And I just want to 100% clear up right now that I'm not a Tory. Uses air crisp technology, touch screen display. Everything needs a touch screen display. Ooh. Five minute journal. This is my favorite one. This one I've been using since lockdown. Um, so this is my second one of these. And it really does only take five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the evening. And if you don't have that time, you can even do it quicker than that, which is why I love it. And I just feel like I've learned a lot about myself since I've been doing this. And it's just really nice to look back and reflect. And just important, I think, to kind of acknowledge those smaller moments in the day that you wouldn't normally have maybe sat down at the end of the day and, and appreciated. Um, so this is a big, big favorite of mine. And I just think it would just make the best present. Here. Uh -huh. Oh, this Oh, no, there isn't. Oh, there is. <laughs> How tall do you want to be, Ruth? Mm, up to your shoulder. You want to be up to my shoulders? Next up, I have another pair of shoes. They are some Uggs, and I haven't had a new pair of Uggs for years, so I was most excited about these. They are such a treat. Um, I went for the classic chestnut in a short length. I did look for the like ultra mini ones, but they didn't have them. And also I just thought it would probably quite annoy me because I've tried them on in shops before and I just found them a little bit tricky to get on. So I just went for the short ones and I've worn them a couple of times already around the house. I just think they're so, so comfortable and they last for years and you can wear them out of the house if you want to as well. They're just really handy for being around the house. <laughs> Chicken, stop. I remember when I lost my mind. 
There is nothing better than a good night's sleep. I'm sure you'll agree. Like a, one of those nights where you just fall into like a really deep sleep and you don't wake up and you just, it's just, yeah, get to sleep nice and quickly. You wake up all refreshed. I love those, I love those sleeps. What helps me get those sleeps is ZMAs. So I take two of these, two of these capsules every night before I go to sleep, so does Hannah, and they tend to give me a very nice, deep, long sleep. Uh, it's basically magnesium and zinc and stuff like that in there. I don't really know what it's doing. I don't really know the technical. Uh, I could do research, but I'm too lazy. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Smells delicious. That's cooked perfectly. Ah. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's so good. I eat a lot of chicken. Borderline, I've got a problem. So when it comes to chicken, I know chicken is so succulent. The outside of the chicken breast is just like all crispy. So it's like a really nice crispy outside and then just really soft and like perfectly cooked on the inside. I'm telling everybody about this at dinner parties. Yeah, no, no, the house prices aren't, you know, it's just, you wonder where it's all gonna end, don't you? You know, we picked up one of those air fryers recently from Amazon. It's very good. You should, you should totally look into getting one. That's gonna be me. Bet your well gel, you're not gonna be there for that chat. Mm. Mm. Buy a fucking air fryer the Levi's rib cage jeans. And these are like super high waisted. I absolutely love these jeans. I hated wearing jeans after lockdown. And now I've got these, I'm like, oh my God, jeans can be comfy. This is my first ever pair of Levi's. And I will say that I only spent this much on them because I had vouchers. And I wouldn't normally have wanted to spend over like 30 pounds on a pair of jeans. But my God, the fabric is so soft, the jean fabric, and they fit so nicely around the waist. They cover up my stretch marks because they're so high-waisted. I've got a lot of stretch marks like down here um, from just from having kids. And yeah, I just, I just, I totally rate these and I just can't believe that it's taken me 33 years to discover how comfortable they are. <laughs> This is another thing I should really add to my list of things that um, I'm obsessed with. That's just our coffee machine. It's uh, called a Sage Twin Boiler. Um, we use it multiple times every day. We're big coffee drinkers. It's pretty much the best coffee machine you can buy for like your house. The next step up is like cafe coffee machines, which I kind of want to get. Like I, I would like to really get like a, a cafe coffee machine, like the big industrial ones, but. I'm just being a dick. Um, this is fine. It grinds the coffee beans. We use a, a company called Pact Coffee, P-A-C-T. Uh, I've got a discount code in the description if you want to use a discount code. And then they send us freshly roasted coffee beans every week. The Pact Coffee combined with the Sage Twin Boiler Coffee Machine. Mmm. Hannah makes lattes in it and I just make black Americano. I like my coffees like I like my ladies. Black and bitter. How do you spell she? S, 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 H, E. Good boy. You got all your spellings right. <coughs> like yeah, yeah. This is the future. It is a uh, robot vacuum cleaner. So I write with my left hand, um, which means I've always had pen, pen dramas. And I'm always looking out for like the perfect pen. Um, and I think I found it. It's called a Lamy pen, this bad boy here. This is just like a ball tip one. I think they do fountain ones too, but this is just like a black ball tip pen. And I love the weight of it, um, especially when you put the lid on the end like that and it gives it a bit of extra weight. I love the weight of it. I love my handwriting in it. I think it's one of my favorite pens I've ever owned. Um, I think it's about 14 quid on Amazon. Lamy pens they're called, yeah. I. Highly recommend a Lamy pen. Look at that colour Ginny face. <laughs> Alexa, tell Roomba to stop vacuuming. Oh man, I just love shit like that. I can I can literally tell it using my Alexa. Sorry if I triggered yours uh, to Hoover my house when I'm when I'm leaving. I can literally be like Alexa, tell. Roomba to Hoover the lounge and it will go off and Hoover. By the time I get back, the lounge is Hoovered. Oh man, I love the future. Yeah, Hannah just worked with them over on her Instagram, so they sent us that one as like a press gift, but uh, 
yeah, we're all obsessed. It's got like a little mind of its own. It's got its own little character. It's nice having it around, a bit of company for a deeply lonely man. I was editing this video and I felt like it was missing something. It was like, it, it's not a, it's not one of our videos unless it's got one of one of our silky montages in there. It's kind of our signature. So I thought, let's get, let's, let's, do, let's do a good old fashioned silky. Otherwise it's just a 42 year old man banging on about his new air fryer. I thought I could, in this silky montage, read you out a poem I found recently. It's by um, a guy called Jonathan Edwards. It's called The Voice in Which My Mother Read to Me. The voice in which my mother read to me isn't her good morning voice, good afternoon, good night voice, her karaoke as she dusts make furniture a polite voice, her saved for neighbors, babies, and cooing our dog's name voice. It isn't her best china, not too forward, not too shy voice. Or dinner's ready, your room looks like a sty voice. Or her whisper in my ear as she adjusts my tie voice. It's not her roll in Friday night, Lucy in the sky voice. Her Sunday morning smartest frock, twinkle in the eye voice. That passing gossip of the vicar with the communion wine voice. It's not her gateau, no ice cream, no, I can't make the choice voice. It's not her decades late fourth change, is this skirt smart enough voice. It's not her caught me with the girl from number 21 voice. That voice which she reserved for 12 foot grannies, deep south hobos, that sleepy secret staircase. Selfish giants, lilliput voice. That tipping over, boy, why is your house so full of books? Voice. And that brings us to the end of this week's video. Thank you so much to everybody for watching. Thank you for embodying the role of my father so beautifully and letting me show you all my new spoils. Uh, I really enjoyed making this week's video, uh, especially the beginning bit where I got to be a bit of a sassy bitch. All the links for everything we mentioned are down in the doobly-doo. Uh, thanks to all of our patrons for supporting the channel. Uh, I can't tell you how much you guys mean to us. Uh, I don't know why I did that little chess thing. Awful awful thing to do that I'm not a Tory. <laughs>